Hey guys, I'm out here in the desert taking a break. Uh, wanted to do some plinking. I got a new replica CO2 Schofield number no. three pistol. Uh, this is manufactured by Bear River Arms. Uh, this is a gun I've kind of had my eye on for a while and kind of wanted to uh, do a little review of it. And this thing is awesome. Uh, this is probably one of the coolest uh, replica guns I've seen. I'm kind of a sucker for pistols. Uh, the Schofield, you know, was popular in 1877. Uh, it was used by soldiers, and they, a lot of generals liked it because it's real easy to load, you know, especially when you're on a horse and you're moving along. It's a whole lot easier to open and load this thing. Um, like I said, this thing is very well made. It's it's all entirely metal. The only thing plastic are these grips. And to be honest, it's hard to, to tell that they're even plastic. Uh, they look very close to wood. They even kind of feel like wood. Um, so this gun was done very well. Um, I was sent this pistol and I'd gotten the, uh, the pellet shells with it. These are a little different than the BB shells. The BB shells load from the front. The pellet ones load from the back. And the gun seems a little more accurate with pellets. It is a smooth bore, but the pellets seem to fly a little, uh, a little better in this, this gun. Uh, it's shooting about 400 feet per second. Obviously, it's CO2. It's going to change, you know, with temperature. Um, but it, it's going about 400 feet per second. It's got a seven-inch barrel, and it's it's a big gun. Um, the sights are fixed, and uh, the front sight is a little difficult to see. I mean, I could see maybe putting some white paint on the tip of it may make it a little easier to uh, make shots with it. The safety is right back here. This thing cocks very smooth. It's got a pretty nice trigger. And uh, the CO2 cartridges go in the handle. And on the handle, it has a little Allen key that you can use to tighten the uh, CO2 capsule into the gun, which is a, a nice feature. You don't, don't lose it, and you don't have to carry something with you. It's just a nice little little thing. A lot of the newer guns have those now. Um, and then you just pull the rear sight back and this pops open. And I like how it slides up and it slides the shells. Now when I load this, I just load it with uh, the shells still in the gun. I, they're real easy to load with pellets. With the BBs, you would have to pull these shells out and dunk them into a tray to get the BBs in there. Um, so I... For me personally, I'd prefer the uh, using pellets out of this gun, and to you know, it's not going to ricochet like a BB. Although I still always wear my glasses, um, but no, this is just a really cool gun. I've been having some fun with it in camp, and I just wanted to kind of show it off to you guys. Um, if you guys are looking for something fun to do uh, in the backyard or you know out in camp. It's a great little gun. I keep it in my uh, my backpack. It fits in my, my pouch real, real nice. doesn't take up any space. And it's just kind of fun to have something to do when you're out in camp. So let's check it out and see what this thing can do. I set up some balloons and some cans behind me. And let's have some fun.